In this video, I am going to share with you how to find out the current blockchain height and corresponding sync percentage of your Helium miner. I am going to cover both cases when you have physical access to your Helium hotspot versus if you want to check it remotely. Hey folks, this is Roy and welcome back to my channel Tech. Let us consider the first situation when you have physical access to your Helium miner. In that case, you have to run diagnostics of your Helium hotspot. If you are not sure how to do that, I have already covered that in a separate video. You will find that link in the description as well as at the top right corner. So after running the diagnostics, you will find a similar page. So you can see here both my outbound and inbound connections are checked. You can see here there is the blockchain sync status which is currently 100%. So in your case if it's not completely sync it will show you the percentage like 99.0% or something similar. Then if there are more details so you can see here the hotspot firmware and app version. But if you scroll down all the way to the bottom and click the send report to support it will bring up an uh, email interface. So you don't have to send it anywhere but it just gives you more information. So you can see here it I have the address of the hotspot then it's connected to the blockchain yes but what is important here this height this height here is 1084967 that is the current height of my helium hotspot. So if you want to check uh, what is corresponding percentage we can go to the helium explorer so let's do that. So here I have pulled up the explorer.helium.com page and you can see that the current blockchain height is 1084969 and in my case it was 1084967 so if you divide that it's only two blocks behind than the current blockchain so it's basically 99.999 so it's basically 100% in my case uh, but what I have observed that usually if you are uh, behind let's say 400 up to 500 blocks you are still considered synced beyond that you will see a status which is syncing so uh, running the diagnostics is the most accurate way of learning what is the current blockchain height of your helium miner. All right, let us now consider the case when you are not close to your helium hotspot and you need to check the blockchain height remotely. How to do that? In that case, we will go to the internet browser and type explorer.helium.com and then you can type the name of your hotspot here. I'll just type a random name, say Red Dragon and see what shows up so i'll just pick up the first hotspot here so what you need is actually the address of your hotspot the name is not enough uh, we'll use the helium api to check the uh, blockchain height so this string you see after this uh, which says hotspot so this string is the address of your hotspot so just copy that and then uh, in the browser type api.helium.io slash v1 slash hotspots and after that paste this string and hit enter. So I am using here Mozilla Firefox because it has a nice parsing of the JSON data. So here you can have you have a lot of information. So what is important here uh, we need to check is this number which says last change block. Okay. So the last change block is not actually the most recent blockchain height but what it says you that when was the last activity happened uh, by your helium hotspot and this is this number and you need to compare this last change block to the current block which is the uh, blockchain height of the uh, helium system and you can see that this difference is uh, pretty small only four blocks so 1084986 1084990 the last change happened only four blocks ago so it must be synced so in some cases i have pulled up few other examples for example this one uh, let's refresh this page so we can see that the last change block was uh, 1084715 and currently 1084990 so the difference is um, 990 minus 715 so 275 blocks behind but still it should be synced also note that this number will be usually slightly smaller than the number reported by the diagnostics which is actually the current blockchain height but this is reporting the block when it had last activity so this number will be slightly small another meaning of this number the last change block is that the helium miner at least reached this point or it was online 
at least at that blockchain height okay i told you earlier that the helium miner goes out of sync if it's behind a few hundred blocks why is it so it's actually related to one of the chain variables uh, to check the chain variable you can go to this site uh, helium dot plus slash chain variable chain words and then you can type the name of the chain variable so here we will type challenge and you can see that uh, this first entry poc challenge interval has a value of 240 so what this means that a helium hotspot which is completely synced and online should create one challenge in every 240 blocks that's an average number so roughly in every 240 blocks and one block is about one minute so a helium miner which is active and completely synced should create one challenge in every four hours you will often see an event called created challenge and that is what i am referring to so um, let's take one example so here i have picked up one example which is uh, this hotspot um, this is a lone wolf so it doesn't have any other kind of activity other than creating challenge and saint beacon so if you go to the activity tab and then sub uh, tab of all activity you can see that it has created challenge one was 42 minutes ago then five hours ago so roughly one hour ago five hour ago nine hour ago and so on so you can see the interval is roughly four hours that ensures that yeah, this helium hotspot is actually online and fully synced so again you can check the uh, api using this address so just copy this address and go to api.helium.io slash v1 slash hotspots i will provide the link in the description and then you can see that uh, it's 1081605 sorry not this address so this one and uh, the last change block 1084968 and current block is 1085003 so the difference is um so 5003 minus 4968 so only 35 blocks behind so it's fully synced so this is how you will check the blockchain height of a remote helium hotspot i hope this information was useful to you if you have any more question let me know in the comment section that's all for today thanks for watching guys and get kryptonized